It's my daughter's birthday and for the last two years it comes in the month of Ramadan. This year we invited her friends for an iftar dinner. Join me as we cook for our guests with my daughter both vegetarian and meat dishes, burek, salads, cake and more to serve on our iftar birthday. The day before I was only able to make the birthday cake and the pudding. And two of our guests are vegetarian. So for the first main dish I decided to make eggplant zucchini stew in tomato sauce. I partially peeled the eggplants and cut it in long strips after cutting into four and going to soak them in salty water to get the bitter juice out for at least about half an hour. On the menu we will have beetroot salad so we will need three medium sized beetroots boiled until soft. As a drink we will serve homemade lemonade with ginger. I make this lemonade with frozen lemons and oranges. I always keep it in the freezer. I have the recipe. I'm gonna add the links. The only difference here is to add fresh ginger while processing everything to give an extra flavor and freshness. And this is my friends a classic potato puree with some aged cheese. I'm gonna use it to make my burek as a filling. After the preparations, I begin to assemble my birthday cake. It's a simple sponge cake recipe. Over the years on my channel, I shared cake recipes, but I'm gonna add the details in the description. We decided to flavor our cake with some sour cherries and chocolate pieces. I'm going to dampen my cake layers with mix of sour cherry jam, juice and milk. I'm going to chill the cake in the fridge and then cover it with some whipped cream or as we do in Turkey with a mix of milk and cream chantilly powder. Next I'm making my second main dish which is a filo wrapped chicken kebab. In the kebab along with one chicken breast I'm using medium size onion, half big a sweet red pepper, you can use kapya and some green peppers from the freezer. I'm pulsing first my onion with half of the uh, chicken breast and then add the rest ingredients, the peppers, cloves of garlic, the rest of the chicken breast and the spices. Teaspoon of each black pepper, cumin, paprika and salt. And to give some extra boldness and color, I added teaspoon of pepper paste and drizzled some olive oil. Give it a pulse until everything is mixed. Do not over process since we want some uh, chunks or pieces to be seen. Making some simple sauce by mixing olive oil and water to dampen my uh, yufka filo sheets. Our uh, traditional filo sheets are round and big, so half of it will be enough for me to wrap. But if you are using rectangular uh, ready filo sheets, depending on the thickness, you can use a couple of layers. I didn't use brush here to dampen. 
Instead, I just closed and opened back the yufkas. It is something that I learned from my mom. Also, this way you don't waste any of the sauce, olive oil using the brush and your brush will stay clean meaning we don't have to waste more water and soap to wash it either i'm going to wrap the three fillows three halves so i roughly separated my chicken filling to three and then rolled as you can see i'm going to cut into about a three four centimeter thickness and place it to my deep dish baking dish place the filo wrapped kebab pieces as you can see and continue to do the same to the rest of the mixture i'm gonna keep the kebab in the fridge and will bake about an hour before serving time The beetroot salad is so easy to make and delicious. My daughter prepared it. Just peeled the beetroots and cut into cubes and the pickles. And we have some corn kernels. Going to mix everything. Then mix it with some plain yogurt, mayonnaise and salt. And this will be the final look. For the potato and cheese burek, I'm making another sauce to dampen my yufkas, this time with some olive oil, water and a bit of flour. After dampening the yufkas, the fillos, I cut them into five pieces, the half of it, to make rectangles place from the puree first seal from the sides and then roll again i will keep them in the fridge and going to bake with the other main dishes to serve them hot right out of the oven as a second dessert along with our birthday cake with zeynep we decided to make kavanoz kurabiyesi jar cookies these are melt in the mouth cookies and stays fresh for a long time so we call it jar cookies because you can keep them in the jar for a long time. In the mixing bowl I mix 125 grams butter at room temperature, 2 heaped tablespoon powdered sugar, 3 heaped tablespoon cornstarch, 1 egg white, baking powder, vanilla powder and enough flour to have a nice cookie dough mix about two two and a half cups we are looking for a soft playable dough and meanwhile since my daughter's first friend came they uh, shaped the cookies together while i cover my birthday cake with whipped cream next i'm making vegan eggplant and zucchini stew I want to flavor the eggplants a bit more so I decided to stir fry let's say in some olive oil. The eggplants tend to soak the oil while frying so drizzle some in every batch while they're frying. After I fried the eggplants in the same pan I sauteed one medium sized onion then added the zucchinis that I cut the same as the eggplants going to add the rest of the red pepper that I have cut it in wedges and ripened tomatoes that I diced I added more tomato puree from the freezer since it is still not the season and cooked on low medium heat until the zucchinis are uh, somewhat soft added some uh, tomato paste and after cooking for uh, one two more minutes added the eggplants 
added enough hot water and going to uh, cook on low medium until the veggies are soft. I forgot to add some green peppers so later I sauteed and added over along with salt, some black pepper and uh, paprika pull biber to flavor. Next I'm making cennet çorbası, corn, potato and onion soup. It is very simple to make and very flavorful compared to the simple ingredients. I heated up 2 heaped tablespoon butter and 2 tablespoons vegetable oil and sauteed 3 heaped tablespoons corn flour. Added hot water. Add medium size 1 potato and onion that is cut roughly. Add salt and black pepper and a clove of garlic. Cook everything until soft and then blend with a hand blender. And right before serving heat up 2 tablespoons of butter and some paprika and pour over the soup. We have about one and a half hours left to iftar dinner so I begin to cook my dishes. Along with the potato and cheese burek from the freezer I added the sariyar burek with a minced meat filling that I shared recently. Our melt in the mouth jar cookies are out from the oven and my daughter and her friends coating the cookies with some powdered sugar or mix of powdered sugar, cacao powder or cinnamon. And meanwhile I quickly decorated the birthday cake. I didn't have much time to pipe a whipped cream to decorate and wanted to use a natural things so I just decorated with some white chocolates, cacao nibs and later added frozen sour cherries. I also quickly prepared a seasonal salad with some grated carrots, sliced iceberg, cubed tomatoes and cucumbers and some chopped parsley. As a final touch to my wrapped chicken kebab, I drizzled tomato sauce over after I take out from the oven and it's ready to serve. And finally it's iftar time. We are breaking our fast exactly at sunset. As we had our iftar joining my daughter and her friends conversation, feeling their excitement and energy, I remembered my days at the university with my friends. Inshallah with God's will, it will be good days to remember as they get older. And I'll be happy if I will be in their memory. <laughs>